I need toilet paper, toilet paper, toilet paper. I'm out of toilet paper. It's my corona. I need toilet paper, toilet paper, toilet paper. Hey, hi, it's Dr. Don again with another Duty Dispatch, episode two in the year of the corona. Today, I think we might want to talk about how to corona-proof our house. Now, Dr. Fauci's on the news every night telling us how to sanitize and social distance even in our own home. Uh, that's great. Uh, we need to do that. But I think there's a whole list of underreported measures that we might want to consider and maybe need to consider to corona-proof our homes. When you're around someone 24-7, you recognize quickly that sensitivities are heightened. Questions can become interrogations. Observations can become accusations. Uh, tempers can flare and escalate out of control very quickly. Be prepared. You need to manage your environment and your risk. Now, you've got to find out what works best in your house, but I've got some tips that I think might be helpful. First of all, find yourself a safe room. This is mine. It's the guest bathroom. My wife rarely comes in here. There's no makeup. There's no hair products. So this will be the last place she looks. Won't be the only place, and she's persistent, so she'll find me eventually. Um, I suppose it's really just postponing the inevitable, but every moment of privacy counts. So get yourself a safe place. If it's just you and your significant other, you'll be good to go. If you've got kids, you need to designate a safe room for them. If things go south in a hurry, send them there before they have a chance to witness the carnage. This will go better, I think, if you plan ahead with active mad dad drills. Make it a weekly thing. Stick a post-it on the fridge, put it in their online calendar, whatever you need to do. But better to be safe than sorry. Look, I don't want to be apocalyptic about this, but I've got another thought that um, I guess it's dramatic, uh, or at least aggressively proactive. But I've decided to hide the kitchen knives. Just the big ones for now. Um, nothing larger than a paring knife. I'm leaving the metal forks at the moment, but they're clearly on my watch list. And I've got a supply of plastic silverware that I've collected, and you should go out and get those too uh, before there's a run on them at the Walmarts. Although plastic or not, in my darkest moments, I fear anything that can be fashioned into a shiv. I've started to hallucinate about my wife ripping apart one of her bras and yanking out the underwire, sharpening the tip into a lethal weapon. These, of course, are irrational fears. Right? I mean, there's very little chance that I'm going to wake up in the middle of the night with a sharpened underwire sticking out of my chest. Right? Hmm. Well, you know what? Don't risk it. Corona-proof your house. Hey, you are right in there. And that ends the dispatch for the day. I wonder if she's armed. See you next time. I'm coming. I need toilet paper, toilet paper, toilet paper.